Hi guys, welcome back. So in the previous one, we set up a uh, swell kit on our local and in this one, we are going to create some pages. So if you look at um, this website that we are going to create, it has home, which is the directory we already have. It also has about service and contact. So we are going to create uh, these pages uh, right away here. Uh, swell kit uses something called directory based routing so if you want any route here except for the home page you will have to create a directory of that name so let's say i want about page so i will have to create a folder called about and just by doing that you will not have that route um, so slash about will be a 404 only if you have, I mean, even if I have something like index or something here, I will also not get that. Only if I have page dot swelled inside it, I will get something here. So like it's empty now, so it's showing empty. So if I have a boat, it shows a boat there. Now that is a boat. Now we are going to copy the same thing, maybe paste it several times uh, so that we can rename them so how many pages we had i think two and yeah one more about is already done so services and let's rename this to content okay now that is done uh i will change the text as well so that it's easy for us to differentiate between the pages so services I will have it as services here. Sorry. All right. Now those pages are there, but there is no way to uh, navigate through links. So I will have to manually enter uh, and go there. Now let's let's uh, have a navigation, some kind of navigation here. So let's call this home. And for home. I'm just having simple text here. You can have HTML. So I will have a nav element maybe. And I will have a, an ordered list. I will have a list item. I will also have an A tag inside. I will make this as home. And I will repeat this using control shift alt and down, I think. It isn't working. Okay, so yeah, I should do that again. Control Alt Shift and down. I want one more. Yeah. So this would be our about page. About. This would be services. Services, and this would be our contact. Contact. Okay. So if I go to the home page, I have these links. Maybe I can style this. Uh, I will have a style tag here. And uh, URL can be display flex. Uh, if you want, you can use Tailwind here. I, I don't, it's it's a pretty easy to install. I will give you the directions to install Tailwind. Maybe we'll eventually upgrade it to Tailwind. We'll see. I think that should take care of it, but there will be uh, gaps between them. So li uh, should have margin right of maybe 20 bits. And also list style, we don't want any list style. None. So that way, yeah. So this is quite good. Uh, I will. I can now navigate to other pages. So let's say if I go to contact, go to about, I can go to service. Now, uh, we probably want this nav along with its style in pretty much all the pages, right? So in, in that case, we will create something called layout. Uh, and we have this 
in that layout so if something is common among all these routes we can create a layout so for this uh, all the pages inside routes has this navigation as a common thing so what i will do is i'll create a layout here it is called as plus layout dot svelte now if i don't mention anything here all the pages will be empty if you go to contact or something it will be empty so what you should have is a slot so slot is a place where the content will be put in so nothing changes here so when i do that everything remains the same so yeah things are same but if i have something here in layout that will be common for all the pages so this is a nice concept so we are gonna move maybe the entire thing but we should have you know, okay entire thing here above i'll remove this home thing maybe slot we can uh, move it here it doesn't matter the order of this now what happens is in in all the pages we will have this nav bar uh, always present right so that's that's what this is now this is not quite uh, looking like what we see here uh, we can actually do that uh, we just it's just that we have something like uh, i think we have uh, h h1 there and call this start bootstrap and this nav can also be flex and uh, we have start bootstrap and i zoom out we are kind of seeing a similar thing now this h1 we don't want any margin for that I'm thinking it has some margin that is why it is doing that. And uh, why is this having margin? Let me check that. The uh, UL has some margin. I don't know why it has that. I'll remove the margin here. Okay, so that is gone. Um, it's it's quite big, so one size can be. Uh, 1.5 em or something and let's do 1.2 let's do one yeah one seems to be okay but it's still small um also font weight seems to be normal yeah so is quite okay now home about service uh, i will have to move them to the right so since nav is flex i can do this uh, margin left auto and this ul will go to the right um, so that's that's good and the background i don't know what color is this i'll just get the color from there yeah, this is the color. So the entire nav has that background, right? Background color like this. I should have the background color. Yeah, we do. Uh, now this body has some. So how do we apply? We have to. There is this app dot html where body is. So we can actually style it here. If you want, you can have a separate file, create a file and do it. For now, I'll just have it here. Um, so I have a style tag, define body, then uh, margin zero. Uh, they should do it. Yeah, it, it fixed it there. The color, maybe we want it as white. So we'll come back to the layout file where 
we have it all these things have color uh, for the text as white so I'll just make it white uh, this a tags maybe we have to mention it separately so I don't want any text decoration and also color I want it to be that did it um, but it seems like it's okay so maybe I have zoomed in if I zoom out properly and yeah this is quite small okay so this is this is okay I can get this fixed now usually what happens in websites is that it has it it won't always pan across the entire screen it will have a limited width um, so that we can actually mention here or we can create a class called dot wrapper or something or uh, it's usually called as container in most cases so we can uh, do container we can have a max width of uh, maybe 1000 pixels and um, margin zero among top and bottom auto among left and right um, so now in our layout I can have div container and uh, put everything inside it and uh, yeah this center line but then flex has been moved so flex should be container now so I'll call the class here so it is classes are scoped so applying container flex here will not affect containers in other places so i have this uh, here i think it's still large so we can actually go to app.html change it to 800 maybe so that way it's uh, smaller okay now uh, font size seems to be less font size 1em maybe a little less so, uh, 9em seems to be fine there is a padding so we can apply the padding to the nav element before all this padding 3.5 em maybe oh so this looks quite okay but did i get the uh, right color uh, i don't think i got the right color so it seems like yeah, something else. Oh, okay, so this was this was a different color altogether. Okay, yeah. Now it seems uh, quite okay. The font. Uh, don't worry about the font. It's using a different font here. Uh, let me check that if I click on body. So yeah, this is the font it's using. So I can just uh, copy that and go to here and add font family and paste the entire thing on C yeah now that should also be taken care of wow so it looks pretty similar but a little big so zero huh okay so it's 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 quite small small maybe one em is not exactly the perfect size for it but we have uh bar when you click on them so it goes to that particular page now here home and everything is like uh, somewhere else now let's go to home and other pages and fix them now this uh, let's just have a division around it so div dot container okay home should be fixed yeah home came to the middle so I'll just use that everywhere this would be about uh, 
Now this is uh, now since I'm using container everywhere, maybe I should uh, have this in the layout itself. Um, enclosing the slot, right? So that way, all the content will go inside the container. So yeah, this is easier. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, repetitive work. Okay. I think I'm control Z, control Z. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So we have this navigation, which looks quite similar to that. I mean, maybe uh, this active state is something that is not there. So in the next one, I'll show you how to highlight the, you know, particular page. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.